introduce yourself. I'm sitting here with Sylvia, and she's from Belize, and she's just going to give you her own introduction to herself and uh, maybe why you wanted to come travel all the way to Ottawa for the conference. I'm Sylvia Catoos and I'm a delegate from Belize. I'm with the University of Belize and we are looking at starting our first gender uh, program at the University of Belize. Wonderful. And that is my major motivation for coming to this conference, uh, to be able to network with other women, um, to look and, and to participate in there are numerous workshops actually that could give some um, direction and uh, some examples of how various gender uh, studies programs were started um, in other countries. I'm particularly interested in, uh, in the cross-cultural perspectives. Okay, wonderful. So it's transnational. Have you gotten a chance to connect with any directors of women's studies programs at other universities while you're here? Yes, we have had an opportunity to do so um, after some of the workshops that were given and at some of the activities. Okay, great. And so you just came out, of, I know you just came out of the ICT workshop, which sounds phenomenal. I'm really jealous I wanted to go to that yeah. one. What was and really, the, the major thing there was looking at how you can use social media um, to promote um, these programs as well, to get your message out. Right. And, in, in, and also particularly the fact that it is an easy enough one for women to use and, in, and also easy to access a large um, population. Right. And I know it's very, you're able to sort of center in on the geographic area or the whole of, of world. Course. So I know that's a very interesting one. And then you're also off to women um, girls education or you came um, from girls education as the, well? Um, the other one that I found was really interesting was a particular session on women's literacy and the importance of women literacy in terms of uh, women's political involvement and that we don't necessarily have to disregard the fact that we are dealing with maybe a group of uh, women that may have low literacy, that it is still possible to use other methods to engage them in informing policy decisions. Wonderful, and everyone should be informing policy, policy of the people. We need to get everyone involved if possible. So that sounds like a very, very interesting session. Very much so. All right, and is there one one sort of aha moment that you had while you were here? Is there anything that maybe sparked your interest that you hadn't thought to consider from a feminist perspective well, before? I think an aha moment is pretty much, well, first of all, just the experience of so many being among so many women who are engaged in pretty much the same things that we're engaged in and realizing that such, there's such a commonality in terms, especially now um, that maybe 20 years or so ago or 30 years ago when the feminist movement started and the fact that most of us are realizing that it is time really for us to get more active and engage a newer generation of leaders in the movement. And I do like the whole intergeneral, intergeneral, general, generation <laughs> involvement. Awesome. Well, yes. there's definitely something you should check out if you're into that. Yes. Um, in Oh, I'm going to get the building wrong. There's a intergenerational center where you can actually leave your message yes. in painting. In fact, I've been there. Oh, you've been there. Wonderful. And do, did you get to leave a painting? Or? No, I did not see that. Okay. Well, maybe later. Thank you so much for your time and having time to come and talk to us. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. I am sure I will. It's really been a wonderful experience so far. That's wonderful. Thank you.